So this is the first video I'm filming in over a month and my neighbor's kids are having a bath in the next door. So if you hear noises, unfortunately they're super loud and annoying. Like other people's kids, man. Just, I had to deal with them crying earlier and now they're having screaming bath time. I can't win, but I wanted to film a video, so here I am. Listen, don't click away from this video. You know there's a book haul coming up very soon, but I just wanted to give you a quick update of where I've been over the last month. The truth is, is I haven't been anywhere. Just been, you know, here, not doing stuff. My mental health took a really big hit. Yay, depression. I tried doing Red by Zoe's 24 hour readathon and my mental health was like, what are you doing? No. We're not doing this. You're gonna go to sleep and feel lots of anxiety and I'm gonna ruin your weekend. Um, and by that time, I'd already been, you know, having symptoms of a low depression period for like a week or two, um, but it was very low key. Um, sometimes my anxiety acts up and I have anxiety for no freaking reason, especially at work and in customer services. This is no, it's no bueno, okay? No bueno. So, <laughs> I took the opportunity of having that whole weekend off to sleep because that's what I do with depression. I sleep. It's the feeling off part that bums me out the most, that I know that it's my depression acting up, is when I feel off. Like I have trouble sleeping and I have anxiety and it was just this feeling of all my symptoms coming in at once and knowing, okay, this is, I've been dealing with this for two weeks now, three weeks now, oh, we're going down even more. <laughs> I've had one or two really breakdown days where I just feel so low and heavy. This is the only way I can describe how I'm feeling, low and heavy. Um, to the fact that trying to fake a smile hurts my soul. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I did have a day where I had to call in work, I had to call in sick, take care of myself. I have reserved my sick days since I don't normally get sick to take days off work for sick for my mental health. Um, that I know that if I'm not going to be okay serving customers and dealing with all that, I should just call in and take care of me. I had a nice massage. So, you know, self-care is at, you know, 110%. <laughs> um, I, I feel like I'm getting better, but I did not read a single thing in the month of, Mar month of March. Not a thing. I had plans to read Illuminae, and I started reading it, and I just was not feeling it. And when I have given Illuminae like a 5 out of 5 stars, and I'm not feeling it, but you know something's off. Um, but you know, retail therapy is sometimes a thing that sort of helps and you know I got my tax return I had a little extra cash so I made a book outlet purchase <laughs> so some of these books are a book outlet haul um, and then I have two books on here that I bought recently last week uh, last day of March because I had a job interview for a second part-time job and I got the job during the interview so I did a celebratory book purchase because that's what you do, right? So, without further ado, you've heard me ramble on too much about my depression. Though I have to say, and this is a bit of a trigger warning for um, self-harm suicide, so, you know, just mute away until I give you the thumbs up again, okay? Um, this is the first low depression period where I didn't think about suicide. And that's, I feel for me, is a big thing. The fact that I, knew it was my depression and I knew that it would be over sometime in the near future. I just need to push through it and usually I don't think of that and I think I'd be better off permanently unconscious. So this is the first time and I'm kind of happy about it. I'm tearing up that I did not have those thoughts whatsoever. Unconscious thoughts. Yes, I had plenty of times of you're a loser, um, people don't want to play with you, and talking about my D&D games, because <laughs> that's another thing. Um, you know, you're, you're, 
stupid, your mental health is stupid, your brain is stupid. I had plenty of those moments, but not moments of permanent unconsciousness. <laughs> the first book I'm going to show you is actually a sequel to a book that I started reading beginning of this year, or end of last year. I think it's the end of last year, and I know I was loving it. I just wasn't feeling the reading process of it. And that is Dark Sky by Mike Brooks. This is the sequel to more, um, Dark Run. It is the Keiko, uh, the Keiko books. Um, the first book, from what I've read so far, it is very diverse. So diverse in a Firefly-esque kind of way. Um, I really hope I never find anything problematic with these books. I really don't. Um, because I know that I was enjoying that captain of the the boat is a Kabad drift and he's Mexican. When have you ever had the lead be someone of color? Huh. Heh, heh. So many people of color and diversity and it's just amazing. I, I recently read the acknowledgments in the beginning of the book of the other book, the first book, saying, you know, one of my prominent characters is based off Maori culture. If I get anything wrong, I'm really, really sorry. Like, <laughs> He understands that it could be problematic in any way, and he doesn't want to offend anyone. So I really like that so far. I want to get into this book series and love it, because I know I pretty, I'm pretty much going to love it. I, I have a feeling. So I got the sequel. This next book I knew I was going to get off a of book outlet because it would be a lot cheaper than buying it in stores. And since I have the first book in hardcover, I have to get the second book in hardcover because that's the way it's got to work. And that is God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. I started reading the first book, Nevernight, and I don't know how I'm feeling about it. So this is kind of like a risky purchase, but I wanted to get in on the hardcover um, action. And this is a signed first edition as well. Um, I don't put a lot of stock into signed books, so it's not something that I gravitate towards normally. It just happens to be signed. So we shall see how the reading of Nevernight goes and whether to pick up God's Grave. Plenty of people have raved about this book online, so I'm hoping that I will eventually enjoy, uh, enjoy the series once I crack open a book again. <laughs> These next four books are um, four books in a series. The um, I think I have no idea which order they go into. I have to look it up because they have numbers in the title, and it doesn't always correspond with which 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 way they go. But I believe the first book is Three Parts Dead by Max Gladstone. Um, you've got a lovely person of color on the cover lovely to see and then urban I feel this feels like an urban fantasy and not modern times like in its own fantasy world but it has that urban fantasy feel but you have um, um, the main character is a first associate in an international neck necromantic firm so there's bringing people back from the death. Um, there are dead gods and priests of dead gods. And so this series was super intrigued me. You've got three parts dead. I'm probably gonna show these books in not the right order, but you also have Two Serpents Rise. Um, you also have um, Full Fathom Five, which has more lovely people on the cover, which makes it look super, super intriguing. And uh, last you have Last First Snow. Um, I was gonna get the fifth book, but the fifth book's on hardcover, and these are paperback, so I have to wait. And who knows, I might not like these books. There's always that chance when you're buying a book, like multiple books in a series that you have not read at all. There's always that chance. This next book I got is To Like the Lightning by Ada Palmer. This is another book series I've seen around Book Outlet. Um, Sci-fi-esque. There's a spaceship on the cover. Um, the main character's name is Mycroft and Carlisle. So those are kind of old-fashioned, timey names. Um, and there's criminals involved and utopias and, you know, things that might happen. I don't know. I'm kind of going to, into this blind a little bit. Hopefully I like the series and, well, hopefully I like this book and get into the series because I need some good books in my life that are not mainstream books that I have not seen around booktube. That's where my niche is going to be. I'm going to find those books. I'm going to talk about those books. 
and maybe you'll watch me. <laughs> Cue internal self-doubt. That's, yeah. Um, I, this next book, I chose it for the cover. Um, and then, you know, I read the synopsis and was like, I'm going to get this book, even though it's hardcover. I don't usually go for hardcover, but if you can see, I'm, I'm just stroking this book because it's got a texture on the front. And this is An Unkindness of Magicians by Kat Howard. Look at that cover. It is gorgeous. I don't usually go for like, like lighter color covered books, but this, look, you can see the depth of it. Um, the whole, all the branches and stuff are like raised a bit, like even on the back. Um, and this is about, uh, I want to say magicians, like, I want to say witchcraft, but it's more like magicians, you know, magic set in New York City and all that. <laughs> and there's um, a rivalry going on. Um, who is going to be um, every 20 years vying for power and standing during the turning, the heads of the magical houses elect a champion, a family member, or a magician for hire, and begin a series of duels. Um, so there's that aspect. I'm really glad I got this off a of book outlet because the listing price in Canadian is like $34.99. Prices of books. How you do me in, really? <laughs> These last two books at the celebratory, you got hired. I had a second job. I'm really excited, even though it's in retail. I, I'm excited for this job because it's something different, and I've been wanting something different for a while. Um, this first book is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. This is going to be my first Neil Schusterman book. I have been seeing this book series going around the booktube and people absolutely loving it. So, um, this is set in a world with no hunger, no disease, no war, no misery. Humanity has conquered all those things and has even conquered death. Now scythes are the only ones who can end life and they're commanded to do so in order to keep the size of the population under control. So. The main character is a scythe apprentice, and so I don't know much of the story about aside from that. Hopefully I'll get into it and read it. You get to the end of these book hauls and you're like, hopefully I'll get to it soon! When realistically, you know, a year from now you could have not read any of these books. <sighs> the, the internal dialogue of my self-doubt is strong today. I'm trying to ignore it. Shut up, kids! Shut up! <laughs> this next book is absolutely gorgeous. Can you tell what it is just from this? <laughs> but uh, this is another book I've seen. It's YA. Um, even though I've tried to, to strive away from YA lately, um, sometimes you just can't ignore it. They, they are they are some good books in it. And I've seen some people love this book. I'm being picky about my books. If, I, I, if people have loved them, I will try them out. And my library sucks. So it's not a viable option most times. Um, and this is Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Hopefully I said that right. I, I should have tried beforehand, but this, no idea what it's about. I haven't read the synopsis. I just know that um, people have loved this book. The, the cover is gorgeous and wait for it. The dust jacket is also equally as gorgeous. So there's that. <laughs> um, the cover is nice and buttery. It's that ultra matte finish, which I love because I love, I love texture on my books. I do. As you can see with both of these books now, texture. So I'm going to go into this blind. I really like, I've heard synopsis of the story. I've forgotten it. I don't want to. I just want to go into it blind. Um, even though now I'm starting to think of what people have said about it and I don't want to talk about it. I'm just going to go into it blind. Who knows what book I will pick up first. I wanted to read the Illuminae series, but I think I'm going to put it off because it's just too much tied into my mental health of March. So, that is 10 books. Book haul. Haven't had one of those in a really long time. Proper book haul. Mental health chat. Thanks for sticking with me. I know this is a tad bit of a long video, but you know, it's my first video in a long time. Could be another month before I make another video. 
who knows? Um, I am thankful for you, those of you that are bearing with me, that understand that mental health comes first, and sometimes creativity gets thrown under a bus. And I don't want to put anything out that I'm not going to enjoy and not going to love and you're not going to love. So thank you for bearing with me. I know I have not been making videos a lot lately, but I'm trying to think of things to do for this channel. It just requires me to actually read books and that hasn't been a thing. I have been playing a lot of Dungeons and Dragons lately, so there's that. I have a Curse of Strahd game and I have a Mass Effect RPG game, which I'm loving both of them. Shit is happening in those. <laughs> wow. But I shall talk about D&D &D another time. I think it's a fascinating conversation to have because things have happened in that. So thank you so much for watching this lovely book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. it really help me out. Self-esteem rise, I guess. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.